Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I have the Simming sisters here. I'm actually so excited because it's usually just me, another person, but now I have sisters here. So I'm really, really excited to have, you know, three people here. But anyways, thank you ladies so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. You are welcome. Oh my gosh. No, the pleasure is mine. Um, thank you guys so much for just being like awesome, like Rose Chronicles supporters. I live for your comments. You have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I live for your story. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Um, why don't we start this off by getting to know both of you? So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves and your simming history? Okay. You want me to start? I'll let you go first. Okay. Go ahead. You're, so, you're the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> Don't respect on my name, okay? <laughs> so, so uh, I've been playing for um, since 2005. So that's when my second son was born. And I started with Sims 2. My oldest son had, he was given like this bin of games that somebody gave him, didn't want to play anymore. I think it was a relative. And I had heard about the Sims. And I was like, yeah, I just had my son, my second son, like I said, he was born early. So I'm like, I'm bored. Let me see what this game is about. So I set everything up um, in my son's room because the PlayStation was in his room and sat down, had all the diapers and everything I was going to need, sat down. My husband kissed me, left for work. And when he came back home from work, I was still in the same spot playing the Sims for <laughs> hours. So that was 2005. I kind of put it back down. I was like doing schooling and just work, life, uh, had another baby. So um, then I started playing in again in 2012, but it was on the Wii. My mm -hmm. husband bought it for me on the Wii and I didn't really care for it on the Wii. But when my brother would come and visit, I would play with him on it on the Wii. It must have I must have really didn't like it because I do not remember playing with him. I think he's making up stuff but I do remember having it on the, on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, back up again it probably is right mm -hmm. life happened again we I was working uh, more mm -hmm. often and then we moved and then for my birthday in 2019 I got Sims 4 and ever since then I've been playing like nonstop. I mean, I may have some day a day, you know, some Literally. day in there a week, but I pretty much have been playing nonstop. Oh my gosh. So that's crazy. <laughs> I, I love that. I mean, I think that's like a, the beauty with the Sims. Like there's no, like, like you can pick it up and play it at any time and especially any age mm -hmm. as well. Like I started playing Sims in Oh three and I was 10. And, um, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> okay. Like my, it's like my best friend. Um, so he's 15 years, my senior, um, he's older, he's much older mm -hmm. than me. And I say that stuff to him all the time. He'll be like, I was like, yeah. So I was like, yeah. So like 2003, I was 10. Like I was like, you know, like grade four, he's like, stop. Like I was like graduating college. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, time. AJ, how about you? What was uh what's your Sims history? Um, very opposite of hers and yours, uh actually. <laughs> um and we talk about it all the time how much how hooked I am now for the Sims because I used to talk about her all the time for video, you know, like being so stuck, so warped into this game. I did not get it. I thought that she was a nerd. I would just talk about her. I'm like, she did. who, why? I did, like, all she the time. Did. I'm like, how are you staring at the screen for this many hours playing this game? Like, I, I just didn't get it because all I saw, just because I never played at that time, uh, all I saw was like these these humans on the screen going to work and you're feeding them and you're making them go to sleep. I'm like, how how is this fun? <laughs> I don't understand. I just I just was like, you just have a problem. You're clearly bored and I don't I don't know. And then when um the pandemic happened mm -hmm. is when I'm like, you know what? It's nothing to do. Like she seems to enjoy this so much. Let me just see, you know, we're all stuck in the house, whatever anyway. So I started playing and I have been hooked ever since like <laughs> it's bad you know um 
Yeah, now now I'm the nurse. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Um, and I thought that too, like how you brought up age. Um, I was just kind of like, this, this little kid, get, you know, that's what I thought. But it's mm-hmm. not. It is literally for all ages. It's mm-hmm. so much to do. If, you know, you have to like, okay, I want to do this, this, and this. You know, you got to accomplish that. But then once you accomplish that, you're like, okay, now I have to do that. You know, that's what you get so hooked from, mm-hmm. whether it's building or their aspirations or, you know, whatever it is, um, it's, it's addicting. So that's why, um, like we'll talk to each other, like, okay, I'm only going to play for a little while. Like we'll both have to be at work the next morning and end up playing till whatever time in the never. morning, yeah. you know? So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. never a little while. That's like going to the store saying, I'm only going to get one thing. And then you come back with like yeah. two items <laughs> yeah. from Target. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and you come back with the, the item, like everything besides what you actually wanted exactly. for. Exactly. Besides like, what you want, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Oh yes. And it doesn't even, honestly, when you sit there and, well, for me, when you sit there and you play, it doesn't even seem like that much time has passed. Mm-hmm. Like, and then you look up and it is three, four, five hours later and you don't even realize it. Sims so, time. It is Sims time. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sims time. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's 100%. It is Sims time. I, I think that's like the best way to describe it. Like, so like this morning before I started doing summer spotlights, I was getting Emily ready because I was doing a still to come for like uh, chapter 60 and 70. Mm-hmm. And God forbid, I was trying to get her in an outfit that would make sense for her. 45 minutes passed. I had no idea. I thought it was 10 minutes. Like it, was, it started at nine and it was like 940. I was like, oh my God, it's been 45 minutes of me trying to figure out shoe color. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. 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 That takes long. That takes long. Building and um and create a sim mode. Mm -hmm. That takes the longest time. You're like, all I gotta do is just pick this one outfit, and then it it turns into all these outfits. Which you did an interview. I can't remember who it was, but you guys were both saying you just learned that you could do like multiple outfits. We yeah, just learned I that learned that multiple yeah. it was it was with Faye, yeah, because she was because uh, she always likes to call herself Grandma Faye because <laughs> she's also like she's ten years my senior, and um, she's like, yeah, I like soft. I just learned that you could do multiple el- outfits. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, well, these are these the only outfits? They ha- there have to be other outfits. And then I was watching YouTubers. I'm like how do they have all these outfits? It must be mods or CC. And then yeah, I'll, no. I'll just go to the top <laughs> and hit the plus button. <laughs> yeah, I never knew that. And the, like, I've come such a lot from, and I haven't even, like I said, been playing as long as you all, but just from when I started playing till now, mm-hmm. I have glowed up so much on the Sims just from different things that I have learned. Something as simple as that, because I'm like, why the hell do, why do my Sims have to wear the same thing every single day? <laughs> you know, so... I right. definitely have learned a lot. So now I use up all the outfit slots that I yeah. can. And yeah. that's why it takes so long. But I will say they for console, they need to like step up the outfits and the hair yeah. a little yeah. bit more. Uh, which, actually, which actually brings me to my next question. You guys are uh, heroes. I just want to flat out say this now. Um, I don't know how you guys make a story in console. Um, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I do Rose Chronicles with PC. Um, I get blasted all the time because I don't use mods. I just use CC and poses, mm-hmm. but I don't, I just like, I don't really do a lot of gameplay that like really requires me to like actually play with my Sims. I just like, mm-hmm. I treat them as like characters where I'm like, you're here, you're doing this, you're good to go, moving mm-hmm. on. Cause like, I can't let them age. I can't let anything happen to them. Cause like what happened at the beginning of this is I didn't do, I, I didn't really use CC. I definitely didn't use poses. Um, yeah. So Alexa died like at least 20 times. Um, <laughs> uh, without a doubt, uh, she died of embarrassment. Um, she died, uh, she caught fire so many times. Um, I actually, I just cheat now. So like, I don't, I just like, cause you can do like, I, I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know if you can do this on console, but you can just do control shift C or shift C and you click on your SIM and then like these like, other options come up so there's one that says like make change mood to make happy and if you do that all yeah. their moods go to mm-hmm. green holy mm-hmm. shit yeah, yeah, I did, we have that. so yeah we 20, have that 20 chapters before i knew that that existed i would actually have to spend an hour in between to make sure everyone was fed and slept mm-hmm. because i didn't mm-hmm. know that that was a thing <laughs> that changed my life immediately by time being played but like yeah like rose i used to say, used to say 10 hours because i didn't have any poses so i'd have if i wanted them to hug 
holy shit. They had to actually talk to each other for hours. <laughs> and then I, I'm like, oh, good, they're close. Oh, my God. And then the next day, they'd be mad at each other. I'm like, fuck, there's all my progress. <laughs> I guess there are, I guess, or I wouldn't, my, my best one was when they were angry, I used to get them shout forbidden word. Mm-hmm. So they'd be like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and then the last one when they're like, like that was like anytime they were having yep. an uncomfortable conversation. Yep. Now I have like, I was literally just saying uh to another summer, I'm like, I have poses that make like so if, say if I have if they're angry, I mm-hmm. can go down like angry, frustrated, oh, hands on face. That is literally flirting with me at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For whoever created that post pack, because you just save lives. So I want to hear what it's like to be a console player, um, especially like in 2022 when it plays The Sims, because like you guys must actually really like kids. It's like kind of like where I'm yeah. going with this. Yeah. Yes, I we- feel like you have to, though. Mm-hmm. Like you, yeah. you kind of yeah. have to Choice. get the, the kids. Yeah. Um, because we can't do any like, uh, it's not bad. like you pretty much don't have a ch- I mean if you want to have more things to do with your sim you mm-hmm. have to get the the mm-hmm. stuff pack the the expansion packs the get you know um gives you the different My worlds that you know worlds, you can't yeah. create that so you pretty much don't have a choice <laughs> but to get the um the packs some of them um are interesting some packs I don't really use much you know like I maybe at first like stranger I kinda, I don't go there all yeah <laughs> yeah you know what stranger <laughs> For, I never, I think I had like one family move there when I uh, had Strangerville and that was it. And with that pack, um, I was interested in it because it was more like gameplay. Like mm-hmm. you, you had a mission to get to do. But yeah. yes, but um, what happened was I think I accidentally, uh, I started to start the mission and everything. Mm-hmm. And I accidentally did something to where I saved something else over that one. So it erased everything that I did. And I never went back to it again. I was so pissed <laughs> off. And I was like, I'm not playing this no more. Like, I'm not I going back to it. And I never went back to it ever again. Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> played it. I completed the mission. I beat the mother or whatever they were calling it. Yeah. The creature. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. once I was done, I was like, and why do I need to go back here? It's not like it, there are a lot of places to live there or a lot of things. So I just don't really use that pack often at, at all, really. Yeah. <laughs> to be, I was so mad. I did not play it for at least a month. I was living. I was pissed. I was like, I'm not playing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Unless I find a way to retrieve all this information, I'm not playing. Like, I was pissed. <laughs> So, I will, it's like um, it's like it's interesting like I for an example as I like I used to be a builder before I switched to start mm-hmm. I only bought it for the doors and windows I thought <laughs> I spent thought, I thought $30 on doors because it is like beautiful doors mm-hmm. and beautiful yeah. windows like these don't exist yeah. they don't need to exist in that pack I, I'm very happy because like if that if, those, if that if those doors and windows came out now it would just be a kit and it would be called doors and windows and it would literally <laughs> yeah. just be those but like I yeah. I've never played the story. I saw Kelsey and Peach K play the story through, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I love her. That's I the love one that did the hundred baby, baby count. count. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually that what got my me favorite. back in. Like, that's the reason I bought Sims Four is because I watched her challenge on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, and then I got my best friend into it, and then actually me and my best friend we used to share my origins and she used to play and then you know she grew up and you know got a life and i, I i'm still here <laughs> but what's not, i mean she full supports it like the only reason i have like because i have all the expansions i have all the game packs minus star wars i have mm-hmm. most of the stuffs um mm-hmm. besides you know like pet my first pet like I'm yeah. sorry, I, I, co- for console players, for console players, not for <laughs> not for PC. And I, I have a couple of the kits. I bought them. Um, one, one I bought drunk. Two I bought willingly. Um, <laughs> I, I watched. I watched that interview with you talking about yeah. buying. <laughs> yeah. And you were like, your husband was like, you bought a pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's Chris. Yeah, Chris this morning. I'm. Oh, so hungover and I'm like what did I like I'm like oh what did I do last night well you bought a kit I see <laughs> like so unimpressed <laughs> I'm like yeah, I don't remember no. I I didn't believe him until I went on it's like blogged a 
logged onto my phone. That's how old I am. You, I clicked my phone on and I'm like, oh, well, it, I see an origins receipt here. I guess I actually <laughs> did buy it. I just remember being like, being like, I'll show the community. I just, I just kept screaming that to people like, I'll show them that this kid is just a bug. <laughs> like my future in-laws were like, we don't care. <laughs> yeah. My parents yeah. are like, what is that? Y'all? What is that? Yeah. Playing? Like we'll be on, on three-way FaceTime. On, on. I'm like, yeah, you should just play the Sims. And she's like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. They don't. We, uh, we talk like, about expansion packs, like all the therapy. time, all of that. It's yep. like my therapy. Mm-hmm. I, I, I get to retrieve. I am the only female in my house. I have three boys and my husband. So it's like my thing for myself because they are gamers, but they don't play this game. And everybody has their own room and their own system and their own, you know, stuff. So I go into the loft, into my own world. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Because you can make them do the things that you can't do. On, or if you want to have a bigger house, you can build a bigger house. If somebody makes me angry while I'm out, I can't, you know, act a fool on them, but I can go get my Sam and make them act a fool. On <laughs> or, yeah. or you make them go for that swim, that lifetime right. swim. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's like, you. it's so many things. Like, I'm not a good builder, mm-hmm. but I do like to, like, try to hone. I think you are. You see that all the time, but I think she is. It's the roofs, man. I think I can't get the roof. The roof is Listen. like the hardest thing. Yeah. The roof yeah, is so one day she's it like, how, do you, right. how did you just get, I think that she builds just fine, but not uh, the one day, I don't remember what house I built or, and I sent it to you and you're like, how did you get your roof? And I'm like, I don't know. Honestly, I just started throwing a bunch yeah. of roofs together and, that, yeah. and it just made it. was all a blur. I'm like, that's literally what I did. I was just like, let me take this one and this one, let me just stretch it. Like I just, half the time I just do stuff and then it just happens. <laughs> you know, so. Right. And then you got our choices for the roof. I, I feel like yeah. they just kind of like, meh, you know, I don't know. They they need better choices. Did you me. see the uh, Simmers Community uh, uh, article that came out last week, literally talking about like how to make proper roofs for like all the buildings? Like they did actually a really deep. No. I will send it to you after this. Yes, um, please. Cause yes. Cause, like, oh, I got you. Gaming since 03. Can't make a fucking roof to save my life. Um <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, uh, cause like, so like last weekend I did the, the builders round table and I, and I sat with some incredible builders and they're all like, you know, wisdom. They're like, yeah, you know, just, you know, keep yourself motivated and like do these tips and tricks and like, <laughs> you're going to get, you're going to get so good comes to me at the end. And everyone's just like, so accomplished builders. I'm like, doesn't matter how long you play kids. It's boxes and roofs. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. literally box roof. And then you get really good and you do two boxes yeah. and then two yeah. roofs. Yeah. And, then, but, and then it's 10 boxes, 10 roofs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. Like I have literally, when I first started to build, I YouTubed, mm-hmm. like I YouTubed yeah. how to build roof. Like, and I it just did not work for me. So I just started putting stuff together. I'm just like, I don't care. Like, I'm just going to just, yeah, because it's, <laughs> you know, and it works. Excited, like I can do this. I just watched it on YouTube. And then it doesn't look anything like what you just <laughs> anything like it. I, I, anything no. like it. <laughs> like at all. So I'll I'll, you know, my son plays a video game, not this game, but I'll be like, well, how do you how do you think you're doing? He's like, I don't know. It's not interested at all whatsoever. <laughs> so I try to sometimes get my daughter to play, um, but she's kind of like on oh, does her thing on her iPad. But yeah, they're just like, I don't know. They probably think my sister and I are weird. Actually. Um, our kids tricked us. We were just talking about this too. You know what I'm about to say? <laughs> yeah. So they they tricked us. We thought that... this is what. Wait, the, the, the disclaimer <laughs> is that this is when we when we when I started playing again from that long break mm-hmm. and I finally got Sims Four. So right, that's this, the disclaimer. So I started playing, and that's when I started to like um, kind of get into it. Um, and we were just discussing, like, hey, you know, it'd be cool if you could actually play together, like how they play online together with Fortnite or whatever it is. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. And they could play um, online again. They could talk through the, you know, the little speakers and all that. So we're like, it'd be so cool if we could play together on the sands. Like we could visit each other. 
<laughs> and I can't remember which one of the kids was between my kids and hers that were just like, yeah, you know, by the you place, can. like buy the PlayStation card. <laughs> yeah, like buy, buy this, and then, <laughs> and then you can play together. We did all this stuff, buy all this stuff, only to not even still look stupid. Like, felt dumb. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. all, and now, I wouldn't even want... It takes that game so long to load. Like yeah. there are times when it's been really down, had a rough day at work, gonna play me some Sims. And I feel like it takes like 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. So then I'm like, I don't even want to play anymore because <laughs> it took so long to load and I have other stuff to do. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I could only imagine trying to play with somebody else. It would take yeah. forever. That's true. That's true. Right, it, like they probably would glitch. They that T pose, <laughs> that T pose that they do, or when yes. it's standing straight ahead. <laughs> but then so it like, was sometimes yeah, it probably I, would, I, but at the same time, I think that it would, in like the case like ours, if we did want to play together, since it's two people, mm-hmm. you know, controlling this page and all, you know. So in this case, it may be a little easier, but yeah, it probably would take forever to load. I remember when I got the um so we were just recently talking about this too, the the little wedding pack that they mm-hmm. add on there pissed me off. It didn't work <laughs> at all, you know. So I'm like, and then it made my game go so slow. Mm-hmm. So, so slow. So um I think that there are a lot of little glitches. I don't know if it's like that with PC version as well. Like when you add, the more that you add, it does that, but that sometimes gets frustrating, you know. So yeah, when it comes to PC, I mean, my wedding pack is broken um, for everybody. Um, I, I think what really pisses me off that like EA hasn't really come out and, and announced, like been like, you know what, like take it on the chin. Like we released yeah. a pack that was unready and we're sorry, but um, you know, mm-hmm. like we're, we're, we're going to do, so, we're going to, we're going to do something better for you. We're going to, we're going to do something instead of it just being like, well, hmm, you bought it. So that's on you. Oh, um, right. Right. And that's kind of like what they're doing with it. Yeah, um, that's, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Like, like I basically people bought it just for the world. Like that's literally why I, like a ton of people bought it. They're like, we don't give a shit about the gameplay. Here's the thing though. It actually messes up your weddings. Yeah, so if you bought the pack, <laughs> yeah, it actually, like if you just it, it, base game weddings messes that up, that's fucked. Yes. So now people can't get yeah. married. And it's, it's fucking up people's uh, not so fairy challenges or Disney legacy challenges. Like it's, it's messing stuff up. It messed up my pictures in general that I had for the wedding that I had for yeah. the characters. Yeah. I, just, it, yeah. I'm like I, c- I couldn't even redo the. It didn't do it. Right. It didn't I do any do of the, the things um, like the wedding prior. <laughs> yeah. I tried to do the um, renewal of the vows. Mm-hmm. for one of my things and it just would not click it kept on saying like you have to um select you know a girl and, a bride. and I'm like I'm selecting it like so I couldn't even get to the point to do the renewal because it just would not and it would not work it would not go to it so I'm just like well I guess I got this pack for no reason <laughs> you know um right? nothing works yeah and like your sims like the problem was before is like oh yeah so like everyone like you know, obviously gets up at the wedding and like walks away. Now they sit there for the rest of their goddamn lives. And <laughs> <laughs> they don't move, but they won't yes. leave either. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't. They do. I was like, is anybody going to get up? Is this like, what? what is going on right now? Because I yeah. wanted the pictures because it yeah. takes a miracle and a prayer for me to get the right picture playing on console anyway. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm snapping pictures every second. It takes a lot just to get it. It's already taken a long time to play the game. It's my pictures are going to suck because this wedding sucked. <laughs> Nobody's getting yeah. up. They're all standing there. They're all sitting there straight ahead in a days in the sim days. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> doing nothing. The blank face when they're like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> my children with me when I ask them to clean up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
That is funny. Um, yeah, oh, I know. I'm the type of person that I definitely like. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. I'm real like if I buy something or buy, and I don't like that. I'm writing the letter. I'm calling whoever, and I'm surprised <laughs> I haven't done that yet. Maybe I should because I'm like no. Right. You should not just take people's money and then just like you said, be like, oh well, you bought it, so yeah, tough nuts. Just, like yeah, it should be like, like that, right? Because like what EA is like what what EA will eventually come out and say is like we didn't force you to buy it. Like you chose mm-hmm. to do that. And I get that from a, a from a company's perspective. I, I totally get that. But the problem is, is you're going to start losing faith in them. I'm, mm-hmm. And like the thing is, mm-hmm. you know, they can do good packs. I mean, look at Cottage Living. That was a finished pack. Look at Dream Door Decor Decorator. That was a finished pack. Now they're they're rushing out these kits left, right, and center that nobody wants besides console players. And even, I feel like some console players don't even want kits because they want a game pack. At this point, I never thought mm-hmm. in my 28 years of existence, I'd be like, give me a game pack. I want a game pack. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, yeah. I hope at some point they will step out. I, even if they said, you know, you bought this, like we're, we're, we want to give you 25% off your next, like literally like, they're just giving mm-hmm. you what, what marketing is free money. So basically we're just reinvesting yeah. it in back to them. I think they need to do something. Um, right. Speaking of Sims collabs, um, it came out this week that um, Sims is collabing with Logitech to release, uh, from what I've seen as a headphones, I don't know if there's anything else I haven't seen anything. What are your ladies' thoughts about another, like a real life collab with the Sims? Is that something that you would buy? So, and you said these are headphones? Yeah, like real life headphones. Yeah, so they're they're like these really blue, like they're like blue, they have... Um, the plum bobs on the insides like here and it like it covers yeah. like your ear it's like the basic logitech i'll probably get it <laughs> do you say i don't really get <laughs> it i know i know i said i probably would get it oh you probably said it had the plum bobs on there and yeah. all that i'm so and see for me, <laughs> for me that'll be a little bit more difficult i actually um have hearing aids so oh, okay to wear um headphones and hearing aids it it's a little difficult for me okay um, it, it it's just like I'm getting too much sound like I need oh, the sound but then okay. when I'm when I have so the hearing aids amplify the sound so I, I have something called Meniere's disease it it creates this like um fluid in my ear and then oh. it'll cause vertigo and which is dizziness yes. and pain and blah 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 and hearing loss is is one of the th- one of the things so for me having that too much, that'll be sensory overload for me. So I don't tend to play with any type of headphones or anything in. But I mean, like I can Bluetooth. That my, okay. they, they have stepped up their game with headphones. I can use my cell phone. I can Bluetooth. I can even leave my phone in my kid's room and then have it pick up what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my but for God. Me, I, but for me, I wouldn't. But if I could, if, if they were nice you know i probably would get them if i could uh, yeah I that's just, what i said i, I, just, like, I just get one of them just because it has the plumb bobs on them. right enough, so. <laughs> <laughs> to me i feel like it missed the mark I, what i wish they would have done is so headphones so like so these cat ones they light up if i like if i have them plugged into the ears will change colors with the game it's actually interesting when you log like when you log on the sims they flash blue and green like insane and i was because like so say if i'm killing somebody if i actually you know i'm a real life gamer my ears would go red. If I get a life, they would go green. Like it, I, it go, it's you sinks. It sinks with the game. If you choose to have that setting, mm-hmm. it's, yeah, um, yeah. I just do. I mean, I, I just wanted these cause I'm bougie. Um, but, um, <laughs> I wish I, would, I wish what they would have done is half blue, half green, and mm-hmm. then plum bobs, like actually like full plum bobs along the side oh, that lit yeah. up. That would be cool. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Because yeah, cool. yeah, I mean, cool. the concept is there, right? I mean, you can have light up yeah. headphones, but like, they're, I think right. they have a price of 150 bucks to them. Okay. And, and that's ex- like, that's expensive. Like, yeah. these guys yeah. are about 140, 150. Because okay. there's there's a newer version. So they're, these are like the second, like the first or second version. Yeah. But that's a lot of money to, I feel like, to mm. shell out. Um, we already pay enough for these packs. I was like going to say, as a Sims <laughs> player, do you feel like it's a lot of, it's a, it is a luxury to play the Sims versus yeah. like normal would, games that are like 80 bucks? I well, can't remember, I can't remember what the exact um, price or the total was, mm-hmm. but I do, re- I do remember, I'm like, 
I'm about to see how much it is to, if we, you know, we got every single pack, every single, like every single thing. And it was like a crazy, I can't remember the exact dollar amount, but it was, it was high. It was up there, <laughs> you know? And so I'm like, you definitely spend a lot of money to be able to get all the on the console to be able to get mm-hmm. all the perks of playing the Sims if you want. I mean, and yeah, remember, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. <laughs> remember, before we didn't know about expansion packs. We didn't know about we didn't. packs at like at all. Mm-hmm. We knew nothing about packs until my cousin told us. So when I got my game, it came with a pack. I didn't understand it was a pack. It was the the, the Sulani or uh, am I saying the right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that was the Hawaii world. I yeah, thought Hawaii it, world. Yeah, right. I thought it was just mm-hmm. this is what the game is. Mm-hmm. And then my cu- my cousin plays on Xbox, and she was like, "Do you guys have packs?" And I'm like, "What is that? What is?" Mm-hmm. And ever <laughs> since then, my husband was the first one to buy me my first two packs, and then he made the mistake of leaving his credit card information on PlayStation so we can get more packs. But since then, I have shelled out money mm-hmm. for this money. game. And the, yeah, last, you, yeah. the last game, yeah. the last pe- thing, I want my money back. <laughs> I want yeah. my money back. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I, I totally agree. Like, so for expansion packs in Canada, there's 60 bucks plus tax. Mm-hmm. Game packs are... 30 stuff packs are 15 kits are eight um okay. so the only reason i was able to buy them so i guess i mean my best friend used to share my origins so we would buy packs when they were 50 percent off she would pay 50 percent, and i would pay 50 percent. so packs were like 12 dollars and 50 cents mm-hmm. each that's how i'm like i was only able to afford that like i i, I agree uh, aj i think it's like i think it's close to a thousand dollars if you bought every pack for at it's, full price it's, mm-hmm. yeah at yeah. full price so a lot of times yeah. i'll I'll call her or she'll call me and I'm like, hey, you see that they have the, you know, the pack mm. 50% off or 25, you know, so that we don't always have to get them at full price because it is expensive, mm. especially if you want to have the ones with worlds and all mm. that. So we try to typically stay on it with um, when they do have the sales. And, and our try sister to kind of like and y'all telling us too, because she plays, but she yeah, plays yeah. on the computer. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Do you guys have most of the packs now? I think I have all the expansion packs, and I believe you do too. You have, we both have all the expansion packs. I think that, uh, well, I know that you have have more. You don't have all of them, and I, because the stuff is underneath the expansion, right? Right, Uh, like, that is expansion. Expansion game stuff kit. Okay, that's what I'm thinking about game. So I think that you have more game kits Mm -hmm. than I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we both have all the expansion packs. the stuff packs we have a lot of those and some and like we'll do like if i get one and like i'll test it out to see how it is and i'm like oh you'll like it you should get this or vice versa she'll be like hey you know i think that you will like this you know you can get this you know so uh we do that a lot or like sometimes i'll and kind of go through like how you said about the doors and window like hey i like this Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there have been packs or stuff packs or whatever i'm like I like the hair on this. I'm getting it just because of it. Just, <laughs> just because, because of the hair. Because <laughs> I the hair. Yeah. yeah. Just because but of see, the hair. But see, that's the thing too with, with, with EA. And I think you've actually said this before. I shouldn't have to pay for stuff that should already, I shouldn't have to pay for culture. I shouldn't have to pay for diversity. Yeah. This absolutely. is the world we live in. This is supposed to be a game that's a life, real life game. We, we're real life people. Why am I paying for that? I shouldn't. I can see. Okay, windows, sofa. Okay, yeah. whatever. Kitchen supplies, blah blah. But I, I have to pay for myself. Uh, mm-hmm. An Asian person has to pay for that. An Indian person has to pay for like that. Doesn't make sense to me. Make mm-hmm. that make sense. Mm-hmm. Why am I paying to be included? I should oh. be included because mm-hmm. that is the. <laughs> it's a real life game. You oh, know? I. So, Oh, I totally agree with you. Like we make the Sims to Mm -hmm. make ourselves, right? Right. Or to, Mm -hmm. or to create a world that we want to live in. And Mm -hmm. I like my problem with EA is I feel like they're playing it so safe. Like they're just basically being like, we're inclusive. We're Mm going to include a Mumbai kit. Mm -hmm. And, but we're inclusive though. Because like we did well, that, yeah. right? But like that's not pushing the boundaries. You just you just pat at your shoulder, being like, and we're made heroes. Some money. We made some. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's exactly right. But like 
why, like, I, when I asked the builders last week, I said, we know there's a new expansion coming. Mm-hmm. Like, what mm-hmm. world would you want to see? Every single person on there said South African, uh, mm-hmm. Asia, um, mm-hmm. like uh, India, even. Like, mm-hmm. and we all want these things. Right. I, I don't understand. Like, I, it, the game is really geared for like Western. It's very Westernized. Mm-hmm. Um, like, like the UK, like people really liked cottage um, living because it had like the UK feel to mm-hmm. it. Um, yeah. but it, again, I, what I'm concerned of with EA is getting very stereotyped mm-hmm. and like, they're not mm-hmm. like making, mm-hmm. like, I'm just concerned. Like if they did like a Canada world, it would be yeah. snow and egg loose and Justin right. Bieber just walking around for some reason. <laughs> but that's not, but that's not how Justin you. Justin Bieber and Drake. Yeah, that's Justin right, Bieber and Drake, right. The Weeknd and one Tim Hortons on every corner. Um, <laughs> but, but like, but that's, I'm scared to do that. And, and I brought that up with them and they're like, sauce. Yeah, for sure. I live in the UK. I live like I live on a farm. Right. And I'm like, you're, you're right. It's a stereotype of what maybe people think what it's like to live in the UK. It's not right. real. Mm-hmm. It comes down to it. When is it too real? The question is, I think they could continue to push boundaries. I definitely don't yeah. think they like, they always pat themselves on the back being like, mm-hmm. we just, we just put in different cultures, food for delivery. Yeah in 2022 why wasn't this here in 2019 they just put pronouns in like i'm very happy they're doing these things but they're patting themselves on the back for something that they should have already done and then Mm -hmm. also may want us to pay more money for us again to be able to create yourself i think that's ridiculous especially for a console and i see why a lot of people do pc because Mm -hmm. for us it's still like what is this i think they just gave us um what is it bonnets Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> hair yeah. and it's yeah. like like you said. See, I did something like do some research, mm-hmm. get some mm-hmm. people together, g- learn the history. You know of of every we this yes. world is full of amazing people. Do some research and stop mm-hmm. making us pay for something that's supposed to feel like if you're gonna do that. Like I said, do it, it with the windows and the doors and the. Mm-hmm. The kitchen and the this and the that, not with when right. it comes to, if this is supposed to be real life gameplay. That's frustrating. It's, but, right. It's real life gameplay. It it is. Like you're we're literally playing with with people, yeah. you know, going through everyday life. So why not make it as if it was real everyday life, you know? Right. So that that definitely um has been my thing. I'm like, I don't see enough of this on there. I don't see and enough of, you know, of that on there. I'm calling them. <laughs> Piss. I'm, yeah, pissed. Like, I'm calling EA because I don't see enough of, you know, whatever. <laughs> or I would sometimes feel like some of the townies um, that I would see that may have been, like, black or something like that. I'm like, now, all black people do not look like, you know, do not look right. like that. Right, they kind of all, all not, look the same. <laughs> right, yes. or all black people are, like, a lot of times if they would age up or something, it would just automatically have them with like this either like short hair that I'm like, nah, play, or even like, I'm like, for all white people, don't, you know, I'm like, don't, don't just put it in these categories that, right. and you just make me mad, <laughs> you know, what? Oh, I, 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 I totally agree. Like, especially when it comes to POC simmers, um, like when they added like the different like, like skin tones, cause like for years it was mm-hmm. what, 20? Like, and that's it. And that's, that's not yeah. enough. There's so many different skin colors. But when I talked to Faye, she made a good point. She's like, sauce, I still have to use CC because yeah. I can't get my exact, everyone right. looks mm-hmm. like they're super dead. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. or like, how come like, there's only a couple, you know, like afros or, bre- or dreads or braids and the mm-hmm. rest is all just cr- uh, white girl hair. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. you're yeah. right. No, you're yeah. absolutely Right, it is, and I th- and well, I want to I want to change it was that. that. And it was also it was also what made me start noticing it, it was it was the hair thing. Um, mm-hmm. and I would see like the ones that would be like the the black county stems. They would be like black as shit, and I'm just like, why? Everybody is not the it's color. All of the, it's different shades, right? Yeah, so right. many different <laughs> shades. Or with the with some of the white ones, they would be like like I just <laughs> um. Met or one of my sims just made like a couple of teens and they were like ghost pale white. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> like, like everybody is not, you know, and I I just I don't understand we that. Because, like, in a box. 
Yeah, um, everybody is not either this color or that color. Yeah, you added all the different shades on there. But like just the regular townies that's walking around that we're not creating mm-hmm. should be a, a variety. It should not be like, so yeah. some of them that are supposed to be, that are supposed to be like the Asian looking ones, they have their certain yes. skin tones that are townies. The ones that are black usually are black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, the ones that are white, a lot of the times are like ghost white. And it's just like, why? You know, oh, yeah. so especially now that you did add all the different shades on there. So, oh, I don't I mean, know, but don't get me started. No. <laughs> oh, we can, we can, <laughs> you're my last interview for the day. We can talk till the couch. Is home. <laughs> no, but I, I agree with you. Like, again, like EA is just super playing it safe, being like, oh, we did everything we could. Pay us for money. I don't know how that's safe. That's actually pissing people off. I, <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're not safe. You're like far from being safe. You need to just, if you take the time to talk to people, just like we as people should Mm -hmm. talk to one another. We all have different struggles, Mm -hmm. highs, lows. And if you take the time to walk in somebody else's shoes and just listen, to listen, Mm -hmm. then you will learn. (laughs) It's as easy as that. So that's all they have to do. Right? Like, I'm a huge yes. advocate that I, sorry, sorry, AJ, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, I was going to say, I'm a huge advocate. I want to start seeing disabilities in The Sims. Like, I yeah. want to see hearing aids. I want to see wheelchairs. I want to see walkers. I want to see uh, amputees. I want to see that stuff because, again, like, people will be like, oh, come on, stop. Like, they're, you're just going to have the assholes just, you know, ruining it. And I'm sorry, you're, th- that person is right. There's always going to be the assholes that ruin it, it for everybody. Mm-hmm. But for the right. people out there who are in a wheelchair, who've been in there the whole life, who just wants to play a sim in a wheelchair where it's not a mod or it's right. not CC, yeah. that's super broken because mm-hmm. it's really creepy. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. right. I, they I just had to roll around like they're on bikes. <laughs> Yes. Well, that's, well, that's exactly it. I had to download a wheelchair for a character for Rose Chronicles, a future one. Mm-hmm. And I, he had put a, he put his bike helmet on when he sat in the chair <laughs> and it started moving. And right. I was like, <laughs> wow. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Cause again, I, I just, <laughs> I didn't realize the game was on pause and I'm like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple of like, what the fuck moments you'll get in life. That was one of them. I didn't expect that to ever happen, but like, I want to see that more inclusivity come into this game, a game that we mm-hmm. all love. We've all sat here. We wouldn't be sitting here today talking about this game if we didn't love it, yeah, but the, right. it needs, it, we need to bring it in to the 20, I guess, 21st century. Like, I mm-hmm, feel like yeah. it's stuck. Like, like you look, go back and look at Sims 2 and like how like revolutionary that was at the mm-hmm. time. And now yeah. you're looking at Sims 4 and we're literally like, you have to download CC to get Decora pillows. Like, I don't right. understand. Like, we can put, like, you can have self-driving cars. Exactly. Yes. But you can't have the correct skin, skin tones for everybody. Right. Like, it's it's mm-hmm. so it's so weird. But again, EA is like, well, this is EA's law. You don't like it, don't play it. Yeah. That's exactly yeah, it. You don't want to do much. it. You don't have, you, we're, not, we're not forcing you to play. You go right. play one yeah. of our other games. But like, EA is known to ruin stuff. Like, EA, mm-hmm. uh, EA rune uh, NFL. And the NBA yeah. game because mm-hmm. it's just the same carbon copy every mm-hmm. year, yeah. right? And they don't get they don't give a shit. They right. just like same code, new players, hundred bucks, please, right? And it's Pretty it's all money. <laughs> That's why I'm so scared for Sims Five for microtransactions. I'm yeah. petrified for that because it's I'm already being priced out of a game that I love. Like I don't have a fancy gaming computer. I mean, I have bills to pay. It's just me mm-hmm. and my fiance. Mm-hmm. We don't get help to survive right. things are expensive mm-hmm. i have a mom answering email laptop because that's what my work not provided me i bought from my job mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. i've spent at least 500 dollars on the sims and now if we have to do microtransactions, and i'll have to eventually get a new computer because what they're projecting is you're going to need at least 32 gigs of ram to be properly play the sims 5 that's a lot. Wow. So I have I have 16 yeah. gigs and what right now it recommends 16. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, well, I've just turned the game on. So I should be able to do wash my hair, do a put a load of laundry in and make dinner. And it might be open by the time. It might be, yeah. it might be right? So I'm like, so 32 gig computer, um, that is about a 15 to 1700 dollars computer that it's recommending you to have the best performance on i wonder if i can have my son build a computer he built his computer he has yeah. two 
room. I'm like, mm-hmm. maybe I should have him build me one. <laughs> but that, but it, it's crazy. Building a computer, it can be good. It can be expensive as it, well, it, it, especially yeah, with COVID yeah. and the logistic problem yeah. right now. Good yeah, luck mm-hmm. getting um, anything when it comes yeah. to like a memory card right now. You'll see it here. The, the one he built, it was right before, because when we moved, it was 2019. Yeah. And then COVID happened after that. So he had all the things he needed, you know, to build his computer. Now it's like, mm-hmm. and that's our debate is, do we stay on console or do we move to? Mm-hmm. Do we move to, I want to move to PC? Yeah. Just so I can get eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I well, yes. eyelashes. There are a lot of things that I'm like, I, I want that. And oh, yeah. I, oh, we can't. Oh, you, you know? see, it's just this, so <laughs> straight. Like right. it's like you have straight as hell. Eyeliner. Yeah, but, eyeliner. They just said you you better be good with this eyeliner and make it pretty. <laughs> That's I'm it like, because we're not giving you nothing lashes. else. <laughs> right. Pretty much. But that's why I try to, I know um with the uh, legacy that you have, you know, we have going on right now and the story that's gonna be uh mm-hmm. coming up, we try to do different skin tones. We try, you know, like mix up the family, you know, so that you can see there's a, you know, it could be a variety you know, mm-hmm. of different, different colors, different hair, different, you know, this and that, like nobody is the same. Even we've even started discussing like, Hey, you know, different body types. We don't want, mm-hmm. you know, all our Sims to look the same body type way, you know, just, just different things. Just so you can see that there are different types of things out there. So we, we discuss that a lot to where we try to incorporate, you know, diversity. And uh, in hear, our stories and our players and all of that, we hear, yeah, we're listening, yeah. Mm-hmm. So EA should take notes from all of us, but we're we're listening to what other people mm-hmm. want to see. You and yeah. you have yeah. your audience, you know, and what you're yeah. doing. So there's you, been definitely a lot of YouTubers who who have talked about, or I've like seen their comments or them addressing, like you know, uh, people who say, "Well, how come you, you know." don't have this in your head, you know, and we think about that and, you know, we try right. to incorporate it. Like we try to not like have all of our Sims be the same mm-hmm. this or the same that, you know? Right. So um, that's why you'll see a lot of diversity in the stories. And it would be so. amazing if they had, like, I would like to make a story, making stories for one is therapy for me. I like to mm-hmm. write, I have journals, so I like to write anyway. And then when I started doing, actually, my sister started <laughs> the Instagram page. She had gotten sick with COVID. And yeah. so she, yeah. she started yeah, That's it. what happened. Yeah, she started it. And she was off of work for however many days, I think Two weeks. 14 or Listen, Look what the pandemic did. The pandemic made me start playing the game. <laughs> and then me getting COVID made me create an Instagram channel. <laughs> like. <laughs> I Maybe guess something good came from it. <laughs> right. And then my hu- my husband was like, I, then I ended up getting sick, but not with COVID, but I had to mm-hmm. be, I, I had strep throat and I had to mm-hmm. be off work for like a week. And he was like, well, did you add any pictures? Did you, he's like my advocate for, he may not play, but he's like, well, did you contribute to the pictures? I never even had looked at anybody else's Instagram for Sims, only YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah. oh, well, I'll introduce some characters. And if you go to the beginning of my story, because the story that's happening right now is the one that I'm creating, but we consult each other. Should I do this? Should I do that? So it's still like our story. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a whole lot maybe, of that, like maybe, either in the, the morning beginning. before we go to work or right. or when we get off work because we pretty much work kind of the same shift um yeah it's a whole lot of okay so should I do such and such to, you know next whatever right. what, <laughs> what should I do with blah, 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 or did you proofread this before you know it's a whole lot of right because then I have to <laughs> sneak back in and be like turn his into he or uh, <laughs> I hope nobody yeah. saw that <laughs> but if you yeah. look at mine from the beginning like mm-hmm. when I first introduced the character I didn't know what I was like. This is Jensen. This is Caroline. Mm-hmm. And they have a child. <laughs> and <laughs> it has evolved to this whole, like my Sims tell their own stories right now. Mm-hmm. I have this black cat universe. He seems to always Yo. be around. He has his own Her Sims are wild. I, I don't even have to have <laughs> him show up at the right time. 
I don't know how he shows up at the right time, but he does. So my characters, once they started evolving into more of the supernatural realm, Mm -hmm. because the the, initially the first family, when I first started it, the the, um, Lacey legacy, they were like wholesome. Oh, she went to school to be a doctor. And he's a professor, but their children are the ones who have met these supernatural beings. So it's like uh, one of the characters is Harmony. And when I was creating her, she had this long, dark hair. And I'm like, and then I put a scar on her because I never put like scars or anything, you know, that may happen in life on my sim. So this time I did that. I was like, I don't know, something about her reminds me of like Esmeralda. And Esmeralda is like a gypsy. And gypsies sometimes remind me of witches. And it was like she built herself. And from there, Mm -hmm. I really started getting into the story because I do a lot of vampire diaries. Um, What was the Mm -hmm. what's the other one? Um, True Blood. Oh, yeah. True Blood. Yeah. Anything that's like supernatural. I wish Sims would make werewolves. They have the vampires. Give me the werewolves. <laughs> yeah, there's there's yeah. some seed and mods for werewolves. Let's, let's I say I, I, I have a, I have it. experimented with them today. They're interesting. Let's just say the yeah. Just say the yeah. And I read your story a lot of times at night, and I wake up. I, I don't sleep well sometimes, so I'll be up at three o'clock in the morning, like. <laughs> and you get like that though like that is how I when I created the Instagram page mm-hmm. so I created it um when I had COVID and then um but we didn't post anything yet we actually didn't post anything on the page for a while I just created it mm-hmm. um and but I would scroll I scroll and kind of like start following people just kind of see the whole Instagram world and how what other people do with with their sims and it was very interesting, <laughs> very much so interesting, like all over the place. But it does get you kind of like, oh, what is this person's story about? And it does really get you to where you are following mm-hmm. and following like it's a real storybook. Yeah. So, yeah. And I like to re- we That's, both like to read. We both like to read. Yeah. But I used to go so, into the library just to smell the books, that library book smell. So. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's that nurse. I was talking yeah, I was gonna say that's like, like, I don't go that far. I don't go that far. <laughs> like, mm, fresh air. <laughs> no, that's awesome. But, See, yeah, no. I love Instagram. It's it's such a vast mm-hmm. place. Like everybody has their own thing, and they can do their own thing. Like you can have not so very challenges doing their mm-hmm. own thing. You have builders doing their own thing. You have cast just creating there. You have mm-hmm. you have other storytellers telling their own stories. You have machinima creators sharing their work. Like there's, it's so fast and you can, you, you can do multiple things. You don't just have mm-hmm. to be a storyteller. You don't have to just be a builder. You can literally mm-hmm. put your pot and everything. And they're, mm-hmm. like, I think why I love the Sims community the most, and I, I've spoke to I think, this heavily. I work in marketing, primarily social media marketing. So my job is I work for this company and I monitor their social media every day. Do you mm-hmm. know how awful that is? of just being on social media for eight hours a day. You want to blow your brains out after doing that. Um, it's just, it's so toxic. It's so negative. I have only ever had five negative transactions with The Sims. Uh, the hundreds that I've had, they are so loving and welcoming yeah. and supportive. Everyone's yeah. like, oh my God, yeah. really? That's like the greatest idea. Let me follow you. Here's here's 12 of my yeah. friends. Yeah, Introduce each other. So I do that all the time. I'll be like, hey, you know me? go check out this person or go check out this person or, Hey, you should go be interviewed by this person or go check out their builds. I use Mm -hmm. this person here. Like I would say I have built closer relationships with simmers from around the world. And I do with some of my close friends that I have right now. I can definitely see that. Right. Like what's his, uh, is it my boy? My My boy in 1891. Yeah. Uh, Davenport. (laughs) I binge watched it one day and then I messaged him like, I saw your interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, had I, to, I had to watch it. <laughs> yeah. So they're actually there. He's working on season three right now. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I talk to him every day. I talk to um, OMG Sims a couple of times a week. He does the Reaper. Mm-hmm. Um, I talk to Artie every day. Now the, I, we did a summer spotlight last week. Sass by mouth. Sass <laughs> mouth. Yeah. She's like, very, she's, Love her. I know. It's so, like, I watched that interview and I was like, I need to know this lady. <laughs> <laughs> she's so yeah, amazing. She, mm-hmm. she is like on it with all that. Like she'll send me whatever, like you need to watch this interview or you need to, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, Like on it, on it. But yeah, she, 
definitely like a lot of the interviews and um, some of the different stories I've, or even like YouTubers, um, mm-hmm. she'll send to me or ones that I feel um, are interesting. I'll send to her. Um, that's kind of how with, with Claire, that's because, you know, you start watching her first. You were watching her for a while, and though. I watched um, her. I was trying to learn how to build mm-hmm. a roof. <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah. that's how I learned that other people, I'm like, other people besides me play Sims this much. And that's how I started watching it on YouTube. So, and then I started yeah. sending it to my sister. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so and we now, just share whatever we like. <laughs> and now here we are. Right. <laughs> You're right. You're right. When you ask the interview. So don't say nothing like, when we start sending you stuff like, hey, did you, did you see this? <laughs> when you ask to interview, I'm like, us? Little old, yeah. little old us. Yeah. Like, yeah. I only have like a hundred followers right now. You want to <laughs> me? <laughs> I, was, I was like, I almost felt like I was getting this award. I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah. So excited. I'm like, yes, I have to do this. Normally, you know, I'm nervous about anything else, but when it comes to talking about the Sims, I'm like, mm-hmm. bring it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like yes. that's such the way though. Um, like I, I created this, it's actually this, the show will be a year in August. It's mm-hmm. crazy. It's not even been a year of me doing this. Um, and I wanted to create a safe space for everybody that they could come tell their story, no judgments and yeah. literally just sit and be like, I like to play the Sims. I am in South Africa. I like to play the Sims. I'm in Indonesia. I like to play the Sims. I'm in the UK. And we all have different stories that we can all come together and it and literally bond over something that we've always loved. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna sit here and say I heard a lot of stories, a lot of interesting stories to say at least. I've never heard the same story twice. Yeah. And that's what yeah. makes the Simmers community so unique and special. And that we mm-hmm. we can all be special here and we can all have our moment in the sun and no one's trying to put shade on us unless it's EA trying to ruin a, ruin a game pack. Right. Then they throw shade on us. <laughs> yeah. But in the community yeah. itself, mm-hmm. like I, I remember straight from the gate, like when I started YouTube, my YouTube channel and like before I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I had no idea. Uh, I still don't. I just look like I do. Um, I, people would be like, Stoss, you need to use reshades. Here's the links. Thank, you'll thank me later. When it came to storytellers, hey, uh, you maybe use this post. They would actually send me stuff. Like they would actually go out of their way. I But I have also sent working files to other people with Photoshop. So they're able to open up and have my working files so they can create their own stuff. I mean, it's mm. the, it's the old, it's the, you know, um, uh, like, uh, oh, uh, not, I was going to say, be kind and rewind, but that's not what I'm thinking. It's to share the <laughs> kindness. What's it right. called? Like when you like go to like um like a takeout, like a, like a drive through, and someone like buys your pay coffee, it forward. And friend, pay it pay forward, pay it forward, oh, yeah. Yeah. pay it forward. For, in my mind, was be kind, rewind, but pay right. it <laughs> oh my god, that, that's how you know. I've been doing this for a long time. Yes. Anyways, yeah. paying it forward. It's literally just paying it forward, being mm-hmm. kind to everybody because in a world where literally the world is divided, I don't care where you are right now or where you stand in your beliefs. Someone is like not agreeing with you. I just found out this week that my boss does not believe what's happening in Russia is real. Hmm. I don't, He was also team pandemic for the first mm-hmm. like six months yeah. of COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, so I sat there and I looked at him and I'm like, there's photos though. Like, like I, I understand COVID, maybe like you're not a doctor, you have maybe you have a hard time understanding the science behind there. I mean, it, it's it's very much real. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna condone you saying it's fake, but I'm gonna maybe under come to your understand. There are photos and videos of this hospital being bombed. How do you think this is faked? Not the world didn't get together. This wasn't filmed. Michael Bay didn't film it and you know, put right, it out to right. all these countries. Like, this is a real thing. And he's like, yeah, but like, you never know, like, you know, like th- we know the news is out there trying to make a profit on everything, but they're not, this is, this is real. This these is, real this people. Is, these are real people. These, these are real people ocean. dying. <laughs> right. And I, I sent him a picture of a Poland train station that had 40, um, uh, baby carriages waiting there for mothers who didn't, uh, who don't have anything. So they could literally have a spot to put their child. I'm like, you're going to sit here and tell me that this is fake. Right. And he's like, this, yeah. could have, this photo could have been taken 10 years ago, Jen. You don't know. When it's not mm-hmm. happening to when it's not happening to the person, mm-hmm. yep. 
yes yeah. it's, it's easy for yeah. them to just dismiss certain like th- this is life this is human yeah. life and it's mm-hmm. easy if it's not happening to you to completely just dismiss the mm-hmm. situation as though it's not happening You're right until it, yeah until it's in your own backyard now you want everybody to listen right, right. it shouldn't it shouldn't take that you oh. know for you to understand or right. to to try to the what, somebody else <laughs> I yeah. think what we need to end is the statement, it's an over there problem. We need to end that statement, yes. that statement now. It's an yeah. everywhere problem because so if everywhere. that happened, so what if that happened to America? Like, I mean, what if America decided, you know what? We want, we want Canada back. I mean, here's the thing. China is also with Russia as well because China was probably wanting to do the same thing to Taiwan, right? And like, we've, we're setting a precedent that like, we're kind of all just kind of like, I'm literally having Vietnam flashbacks of mm-hmm. two years ago with COVID, kind of like everyone kind of looking around being like, I don't know what to do. Right. What, to do? what yeah. do we do? I don't know. Yeah. And right. there's no, there's no happy ending to this situation as yeah. there's no happy ending mm-hmm. to COVID. Um, right. What mm-hmm. I do, what I will say, um, we will get to have your topic in a moment. I hope anybody who's listening to this in the, uh, in Ukraine, um, our hearts do go out to you. Um, yes. We are mm-hmm. here to support you. Um, if you are able to, you know, like if you want to reach out to us, like let us know. Um, if you don't, know, and anyone who's listening who wants to help, uh, there is a simmer, uh, uh, simmer uh, Ukraine simmer. Uh, they are new. Um, they are fantastic. There are ways that they have taught us on how you can donate, even if it's just a dollar. Um, I saw a really good article today for one euro, which is a dollar fifty uh, Canadian. Uh, you could go buy uh, three packs of ramen noodles, eggs, or just literally just something. Um, yeah. Something that mind baffled me that I didn't even think of was tampons. Uh, yeah. These women have literally nothing. They don't have no feminine products. Yeah. Um, right. I don't know about you, but um, we need those. Uh, and yes. um, it's it's heartbreaking to see. So if anybody who's out there, if you even want to reach out to me and you're like, Sauce, I want to help, um, please let me know. I will forward you that information along the way. Uh, we are a community. It's together and we will stand as a community together. And that is everybody in this community. So, and if you see something, do something. Don't turn a blind yeah. eye. Yes, you know, do not turn a blind eye. You yeah. see, it's <laughs> it's there. So exactly, yeah. and do something. Anyways, I'm gonna before I got a couple more questions for you, and I'm gonna let you lovely ladies go on your way. Um, why don't you tell us? I know we talked a little bit about your sim star, but why don't you tell us more about it? Like what inspired it? I know it's from journals, but what's inspired it, and what is still to come? So mm-hmm. what's inspired mine well obviously was playing sims and -hmm. then I like to write um and read Mm -hmm. um whether it's going to the library or listening to a lot of times I have to listen if I'm driving and things like that on audible um but my character like like I said uh earlier is she kind of created herself I didn't even know that I was going to have supernatural characters to be honest I started with uh, Jensen and Caroline and uh, Caroline's twin brother mm-hmm. all going to college and getting what the world says. Oh, got to go to college and get, you know, and that may not be for everybody. You know, mm-hmm. I had them go to college and live this great life and get these two Yorkie dogs. You know, they did everything per- co- as as they say, college and then marriage and then dog if you get a pet. And then they had Chadwick. Mm-hmm. And then they had Sonny. Mm-hmm. So, but those, when when Chadwick um, aged up into a, a teenager and then adulthood, he met Sonny. Mm-hmm. And Sonny is a witch and did not know that she was a witch because she was adopted. Her parents kind of left her to this family that was having a hard time having a child. Mm-hmm. And um, because they um, took the child in, the the parents blessed them to be able to have more children. That was their gift to them, their their daughter, and to be able to have other children. So I'm still worried. I don't I don't want to spoil because actually either today or tomorrow will be the ending of this novel. Or I don't even know what I'm calling it. That's that's how much of a novel. Like I just kind of am going slow, you know, kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Um, but this I think. It- I- this I think isn't coming out till May. I think May. that the ending will be. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. This is not coming out till May. So if you want to spoil something, you can spoil oh, it. Okay. This is not coming out for like a little bit. So 
she, so Harmony, like I said, is a witch, but she's also going to find out that she is a fairy. So her father is the witch, which warlock or whatever they call the male witches. And then, but her mom is the fairy. So she has these like supernatural powers where she can create spells. She doesn't have to find them in a spell book, but she doesn't know these things yet because she grow up doing magic, you know? So she, because she was adopted and just Mm -hmm. found out that she was adopted. She thought those were her real parents. So, um, and then her mother is going to make an appearance. She's going to, her, her biological mother. And then she'll find out that her father is the, is the universe, the cat that's been watching over her this entire time. So he's just, been turned, he just, he's just been turned into a cat. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, it's, it's so much like my brain is like, oh my God, this is happening. This is happening. I can't even yeah. get it up, get it all out. Um, Cause also Sunny, which is Chadwick's sister. Mm-hmm. she married a vampire now he was human and it's it's so crazy so much harmony had a magic shop hired caleb the vampire the, the original vampire that is on um, mm-hmm. it was from forgotten hollow yeah um but he ended up turning leonidas which is sonny's now husband into a vampire so there's a whole thing going on with that because harmony's trying to find a cure for him and He's feeling guilty about being a vampire. He loves Sunny so much. He feels guilty. He wants to be able to be out in the sun with her. She deserves so much more. They love each other so much. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a lot going on with that, too. It's, it'll probably be ending, if not today, then tomorrow, so that my sister can start her story. I'm going to take a break and somehow let everybody know that I'm taking a little bit of break. And then there'll be more to come. But I never know how my story is going to go. Sometimes my Sims. Mm-hmm. When I take a picture, they create the story for me. I'm not. I'm not yeah. always like <laughs> writing it down. Like I have a few notes here and there, but sometimes those things don't end up getting put into the story. Mm-hmm. So they, they, especially that cat. I don't know where this, where he came that from, or how he pops up and appears everywhere. He's just randomly. There. <laughs> it is so funny to me. It is so funny. Like even where it, he's just there. <laughs> so funny like I don't even know why I'm like why like what is he even doing here that why is he even here right. <laughs> you know so which is that, how yeah, I created kind of to make him end up being her father because okay. he's always there and to the point where if I have her get into it with somebody he attacks them like literally has a <laughs> that's crazy that's kind of <laughs> nuts <laughs> her mother-in-law so he is like and so I said you know what he is very protective of her but he is always there and who would feel like what makes you feel like they're always there when you're a child your parent so I'm gonna make that her parent he just you know was turned into a cat because of whatever situation and and again this story is still playing in my head so as I'm saying it to you know i'm saying it to you but i'm still making it up as mm-hmm. as i go mm-hmm. so yeah and that's where that's where really we usually call themselves. each other or, text each other create... or whatever oh i'm sorry i'm sorry no Angel. i was just saying that's usually when we call uh and text each other and like oh, oh what should i do next or if she feels like she's stuck like well maybe you know what should i and i'm like well maybe you should do this or maybe you know so that's kind of where that comes in but this story, yeah, this story has definitely taken like a lot of turns it and is, twists and this, but it's good because it everybody wasn't. likes, right? Yeah, everybody likes the the magical, like you said, the mm-hmm. vampires, um, the this. Everybody likes that. So, um, I really enjoyed how this story took a lot of twists and turns the way it did. Mm-hmm. Mine is a uh, complete opposite. Oh, I, what's, I, what's I was going to say, say really, really, really quick. Yeah, I want to yeah. figure out a different way to tell it though because I have my pictures obviously up top and then you look at each picture and you can kind of tell you know what is happening and then you read the story Mm -hmm. but I I'm thinking about putting the story with the picture I don't know I'm trying to figure out a better way that makes it easier for people to read the story versus looking at the picture and then going down and reading the story Mm -hmm. so I'm I'm working on that it's her I use photoshop I mean I Mm -hmm. That's it's expensive. What I do, I it costs me eighty bucks a month to do what I do. Yeah, because I gotta I pay for Photoshop, uh, so that's thirty bucks, 
And then I pay for all the podcast stuff and the Zoom. So it, it costs money. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, I would say Photoshop is worth it if that's an app, an avenue you do want mm-hmm. to take because all you have to do is just put it in, put a speech bubble in it, your text. Yeah. But I also do yeah. on, I literally, it's, it's a sight to behold because I do this on my couch. I'm balancing my laptop <laughs> on my knee, building, taking screenshots, while eating at the same time it's stupid (laughs) but no it's it's hard Uh, people have asked me like oh like how do you do this I'm like photoshop yeah I I literally edit it um but um I if I if I could think of a let me think about it and you see if I can come up with a way they it's like because like how do you do it now like do you just put it in like do you just go to like a photo editing and then like 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 obviously like you I know you write it in the caption below are you thinking about putting it on the photo Mm-hmm. Yeah, to make it easier, you know, to follow along. Easier yeah. For the yeah. 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 yeah, you, I, you can go to Canvas and there's free photo editing ones where you can just put the photo in and then underneath create the black box and then mm-hmm. and put your text. But just note if you do that, um, the, the text will show up really small, which mm. can be also be very hard to read. Yeah. Don't ever go below a, t- uh, a 13 point text. Okay. That's my advice. Anyway. Okay. Back to the interview. <laughs> and everyone listening, if you want to create a don't ever go below a 13 point text. It's very small. Like I, you guys scream at me when I use a 12 once in a while. I'm like, it's not my fault. This, this needs a four photo photo. It's a lot to write here. <laughs> t- t- just take a magnifying glass. Give my fine. magnifying glass. Right. Yeah. There you go. Right. right. <laughs> this is what she's trying to say. Anyways, AJ, well, I want to hear about your story and like and how it's going to be different. Um, it's different more so it's not going to be like the the magical or the vampires and um so it's more I guess realistic, so to speak. <laughs> I started off before we even thought about doing like Instagram and the stories and all that. It started off with um four college girls who and two of them were sisters and um the other two were each of the sisters' best friends. Mm-hmm. That First of all, that alone was very difficult doing college for four different Sims. And mm-hmm. because I, I like I moved them into a house that was torture. But, <laughs> um, you know, they all finished. And then one of them, I find that I usually end up favoring one Sim, even if mm-hmm. um, I started off with all four of these girls. I always end up favoring one. So one of them I end up favoring and um, she ended up actually meeting somebody uh in college they got married after they both finished college and all that um and they actually became famous you know uh and they were like the top notch celebrity to where they were doing that stupid slow walk and all that stuff <laughs> <laughs> um, i hate it like that's the dumbest thing that they like why why are you walking like that just because you're a celebrity i don't understand it but uh so i took that immediately off because yeah. oh, calm down but, but it is very annoying because it should not take 20 minutes to walk up the stairs. But, but um, so they both were famous and then they ended up having like hella kids. Like they have like 12 kids, I think. Um, and, yeah. And so um, I'm like, I'm playing, I'm playing. And then one of their sons is actually who the my story is going to be about okay. um so he he grew up he's a, a young adult he met someone and he too got married um he wants to he's kind of like in this i want to be a, a bartender i want to own my my own kind of like club ish kind of thing and she's into like music and all that so they're trying to, trying to figure out a way to incorporate them together to have like their business together they're all super traditional lovey-dovey they have um three kids now a uh, boy and two girls mm-hmm. and um the story's gonna kind of turn because as the kids get older um it's, it's their son mm-hmm. he, and that's gonna be the troublemaker he actually and and when she's kind of said like the stories kind of make themselves sometimes when the sims are doing like their own thing that's kind of what happened because he met this <laughs> he met this girl and they just you could from the pictures that I've snapped, it kind of looks like she's just kind of no good for him, like a bad influence. Um, and so he, she has some like slacking. Um, they got caught. He got caught like sneaking her in to let her spend the night. Um, the parents caught them. I got good pictures with like the parents yelling at them both. 
uh, he and so he ends up. I'm gonna do kind of like a, a teen pregnancy, you know, kind of thing. And so then he turns into this bad boy, this this klepto, this 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 that. And, and you know, uh, my sister gave me a lot of good ideas as far as that goes, just to kind of make his life go this way because he has this parent has has these good wholesome parents that that you know, that work and, you know, this and that, and they raise their children so well. And then here comes this kid, like, you know, he just came to F stuff up pretty much. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I'm coming like, F out of control. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Out of control. Uh, out of control. Um, and then the, the middle child, the sister, she's going to be the one who is like, you know, super uh, smart, just about, you know, about her stuff, no nonsense who I'm going to, make it to like the lawyer character to eventually keep getting her brother out of trouble until one day she does it. You know, um, the young one, I haven't really figured out what I wanted to do with her yet. I feel like she was a toddler for like three years. And <laughs> so I haven't really decided what I'm like, honestly, I would just do enough to make sure she didn't like die, but that was it. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't really got off into like her stuff yet, but I wanted uh, this story to be more, I kind of like how it is realistically. Like sometimes people have these wholesome families, and then this sometimes it's that one kid that's just like mm-hmm. a no limit soldier, and then don't care about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be that's gonna be you know him. That is going to be, and then the one kid that that that's the, the good kid, you know, and all that. So I wanted it to be more of like a a real life. Mm-hmm. Most families have experienced this kind of family, mm-hmm. um, and we've and and I, I do a lot of. Uh, where I take them vacationing, where I have like, because his family is large, <laughs> I have a lot of his family, you know, come and visit and um, this and that, how, how she's close with, how his wife is close with their family because um, she doesn't have her family around, doesn't have like a relationship with them. So this is kind of like I said, I wanted it to things. be rela- yeah, a relatable yeah. kind mm-hmm. of thing to a lot of uh, different people's families. And I'm over here killing people. <laughs> 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 turning people into vampires he's killing people <laughs> yeah 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 your stories are both your stories are very like light, night, night, and night and day literally <laughs> night and day yeah. oh my god yeah. oh but but again but that's the beauty of storytelling it's whatever you want to tell and mm-hmm. um, what I like about your guys' story, and it's the confidence that goes, that goes with it. You're listening to your audience, but you're also not letting them tell your story. Because mm-hmm. that's something yeah. that um, like Christine Sim, so she got me, like I didn't know storytelling was a thing until I saw her story. Mm-hmm. And I was like, holy shit, I could do this. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to see her all the time. She's like, yeah, guys, so like, I'm not changing this plot line. Like, this is just the story. And then a couple of days are, okay, I guess I'll change the plot line. Like, that's really dedicated to your fans. That's good to go. I've had people say, I don't like where you're taking the Rose Chronicles, change the plotline. I'm like, no, you can go. Yeah. Like, this is my, <laughs> this is my story. All I'm right. telling you how I'm right. telling it. If you don't like a storyline, wait till it's done or keep pushing through. And if you don't want to read it, go. I've had a lot of people say like, who like, for like, they've watched these videos and know I'm very left wing and, you know, very pro, you know, pro life, wait, you mm-hmm. know, pro Pro choice mm-hmm. for life. Wait, no, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm for abortion. I always get the two mixed up. Mm-hmm. I, I'm very that. Like, I'm very outspoken. And they'll be like, we don't like you anymore. And I'm like, great, have a great day. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not going to change. Yeah. See, I'm not going to change my <laughs> yeah. beliefs or what I do because you don't like it. That's right. dumb. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. are you going to change your beliefs? Cause I don't like it. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. But uh, no, I love that. I love the creativity. I also love that you guys actually let your Sims tell the story where yeah. I let I make mine stand very still until they are needed. And then when they are done needed, they they go to other lots because like literally now I just have sets. I have so mm-hmm. many sets and I'll mm-hmm. like, I'll be like, OK, so Alexa Oliver and someone is in this. I'll be like, let's move them here. Mm-hmm. I, I just did a really big celebration and like I, for doing the photos, I was like, okay, massive eight Sims in done those scenes. That was eight Sims out next. Scene in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a production. But sometimes I make them like, I'll, I'll follow the purpose. Like I'll have them do certain interactions or what, yeah. you know, on purpose to snap certain pictures. But in a lot of other ways, sometimes things just happen and I'm like, what? And then I'll, you know, I'll just, snap the picture of yeah while from townies that they meet that's how 
the guy met his met his girlfriend randomly at a park one day, you know, and just the way that the interaction was, I was just yep. like, yeah, you know, she's not gonna be any yep. good for him. And that's just that's just what it was. But I do say <laughs> I will say what I do, um, like how he met her, or if they meet any like townies, um, uh, the my character, the father, his name is Khalil. When he met his wife, she was a townie. Um, but usually when I meet them, I take them and I eat immediately go to um build a sim because he ain't put like <laughs> stupid stuff on them it'll be like the clothes are with, horrible like clown yep. shoes or something dumb like that. like i'm like no you know i see potential with this sim let me fix her like i say you know i'll do stuff like that too with uh with the characters that they're meeting outside people because they know half that stuff i match or do not do not go together mm-hmm. i don't know why they do that <laughs> if, if you ever play with cc Oh my God, it ruins your townies. So all my townies just have like these Sailor Moon scepters just like walking around. <laughs> got the blinds, like the, like the flowers from the vines. A couple of them got guys will have the skirts on. They're just walking. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. We're going yeah. to, oh, okay. okay. I'll just tell you the story. I don't think, I've actually don't, I think I've ever told anybody this. I just, it just popped to me. So the only couple of times I've ever done with Rose Chronicles is like the random shots was back in chapter... 19 um when nick and alexa and oliver are like it's nick and alexa's date Mm -hmm. and oliver looks devastated that wasn't me i'm sorry that wasn't like my me me. he was actually devastated they actually are soulmates with each other Mm -hmm. and he hates nick didn't do that didn't i didn't need to do that and i was just sitting there i'm like because like when it because i sat there and i didn't think anything of it i'm like why is he sad and it above it it was like seeing my soulmate flirt with somebody else is <laughs> devastating and i'm like mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> after the perfect reaction yeah yeah, yeah. perfect reaction <laughs> right anyways ladies i uh, i want to say it's been an absolute pleasure um i've i've had a blast i've i yeah like i've known you forever right <laughs> right we only right. met an hour and a half ago but i've known you my whole life so dinner's at five <laughs> all right <laughs> the whole what's up from stepbrothers did we just become best friends right yeah, yeah. 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 we did <laughs> we room for activities <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> that would be so so great. I like to watch it like five times a year to see. I always say that, I'm like, yo, let's make bunk beds. <laughs> yes, I love that movie. <laughs> Anyways, uh, why don't you tell us where we can find your stuff? And I know you guys are having a YouTube channel. Do you think it will be out by like you? Your YouTube channel will be out by the time this comes out, which is uh, the third weekend in May. I pray so. My son is yeah. teaching m- teaching me how to do it with console okay um, that's who i go to for all the things gaming and all that's right. who i go to i go to my son and he's like yeah you know you could do this such and such and. i don't even know you can take pictures on it until my son yeah told me. you know so yeah so he's been um so so i um what do you want to say Do you think so i, I hope yeah, so i mean I if you so. if you I, I think so yeah i mean if you if you guys are what do you what's your handle gonna be do you have you guys figured that out yet for your youtube channel Ooh, will it still be Sim and Sisters? There you go. Yeah. yeah. Look at there that. You YouTube channel. When we career. started. <laughs> <laughs> when we started. Perfect. Um, what, other, uh, so, what other social platforms are you guys on? Right now is just um, Instagram. Again, my son, my advisor. He's probably going to be my manager. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, he said, we definitely need to get on TikTok. He's like, you need to get on TikTok and you need to start making your characters do like some movements and stuff to kind of, you know, with your posts. So mm-hmm. he's been advising me on, on what to do. So um, I I started a TikTok page, but there's nothing there. So mm, yeah. that will be my goal. Kind of like, like how it was with the, the Instagram, right. yeah. um, Instagram page. Started yeah. it, trying to get ideas and then kind of put it in on there. So since the YouTube channel great. definitely is going to be coming soon. Yeah, since I'll be on a break and she'll be doing, I can get the TikTok going and start on that. Goals. 
There you go. I, I, I like these goals. Anyways, it has been an absolute pleasure getting to know you ladies this afternoon. I've had a, I've had a blast. I have a blast <laughs> doing lots of these, but oh my God, I've, I don't think I've laughed this hard in years. Um, I want to say it's an absolute pleasure. I love your story. I'm very excited to see AJ. Sorry, because I, I get why you like Rose Chronicles now. I totally get it because it's the same kind of like dark magic mystic shit. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the best mm-hmm. word I can describe mm-hmm. it at this point. <laughs> Um, but I'm very excited to continue to see you, you ladies grow. You guys have just started. Um, and I'm very happy. I I caught you early because you guys are going to blow off before, before, you know, that's a really bad way for me to say that. Um, you guys are going to (laughs) blow off. (laughs) Oh my God. Stop getting to get it together. Okay. You're going to, guys are going to blow up and you guys are going to get really big. So you ladies are awesome. Um, if you guys ever want any help in the future, let me know. I'm definitely here to help you guys. But like I said, it's been an absolute pleasure. Please go follow uh, the Simming Sisters um, on their future TikTok page, um, their uh, Instagram, and as well, their YouTube will be because our youtube will be up by the time this is out because i believe right. in you ladies <laughs> the links uh will be below like i said it has been an absolute pleasure and i cannot wait till we chat again thank, thank you thank you so much day. oh my gosh you are very very welcome